let's get into it. So, Agent One, the male agent. Not the biggest fan. I think he's like D tier, but there's not much more you can say. He's just mid. I have to agree the same thing with the other one, equally in D tier. Yeah. Had that one episode where they got creeped the hell out by Stolas. I think the only it. difference is Agent Two probably has more trauma because she yeah. was possessed. I'll put her ahead then. Possession points, let's go. I can't say this. Is it Andre Fish? Andre Alphys. Stella's brother, conniving, tries to help Stella out, you know, good bro, but Stella's just, well, what you would call a bitch. To me, he seemed kind of gatekeep, gaslight girl boss. I think we could both equally agree on C. Here we've got our whole. The, F, the, the F. arsehole boy. I'm sorry. He, I don't like him. I either. love Richard Horvitz, but like, nah, it's it's too much. Deary didn't have a lot of screen time. She denies the cherubs heaven. The bit is good. She's not F, but she's not C. Or in D tier. She makes me laugh. None of these two characters have made me laugh. She kind of just says fuck you. She's also voiced by Viv, so points for that. Crimson. crimson, crimson, crimson. I will say, I think he's a great villain. Great for daddy issues for Moxie's arc. Although I don't like how they made his character kind of like a joke. In there. I think it was oops. He was kind of nerfed a bit and a bit stupid. He's supposed to be this smart mafia boss. They built it up with Chaz's death. He's still an effective villain for the episode he's introduced in. I think an effective B tier character. There's already tons of villains anyway, so it's yeah. fine to nerf him. He's a still a good stuff. villain. He's not bad. Now B. Beelzebub. The Beelzebub. queen herself. I, I love Beelzebub. She is S. Definitely S tier for me. She has one episode. That's all she needs. Not like we don't want to see her more. She's a seven deadly sin. The girlfriend. Like, she, she, she does have like a teensy tiny bit of anger issues, but I think oh, she, yeah. she rolls with it. It's fine. She's a girl's girl. It's the camp counselor that dies that works with Blitz. Uh, D. I don't care for him. I don't care for him he's much not, either. He's not like awful. Oh god, now we're on to one of the cherubs. Listen, Colin. I know you hate the cherubs, yes. but it's Colin. He's the moxie of the group. He yeah. has to have some arc in the future. I think him being the level-headed one in the latest episode. I think I put all of them in F tier. Can we put Colin in D? For me, I'd probably slap him straight in the middle of D. Colin is more centered and sane. Probably the only one that actually deserves to be in heaven. Redeemable. Chaz, Chaz. what a dick. Literally. He's an asshole. And yeah. there are lots of asshole characters already. But I think for the purpose He's of an effective the episode, asshole. They did kill him off, like, immediately. Yes. And people are delusional if they think he's coming back. He's dead, man. But I would put him at the end of C tier. He's not like a background character. He's very much fuckboy homewrecker. Definitely. Dated Moxie. Dated Millie. Slept with Blitz. He's oh. shit in bed, though. From what Blitz says, yes. And Blitz would know, to be fair. Blitz would know. He gets Stolas. I think anyone will be happy with Stolas. What's his name? I just call him Blitz's dad. His name is uh, Cash Buxo, I believe. Blitz's last name is canonically Buxo. Um, not no fate of him. I think he is on D tier. You easy, know why? Easy. Because Moxie's dad, Crimson, is a really good villain. He's yeah. a terrible father, but it works. Blitz's dad, he's just kind of there. He's there for trauma. He's there to be blamed. Like, he sold Blitz for five dollars and a certain synthetic item. He's not F tier because there's more to get out of him. My only thing is like, asshole characters or villain characters are fine. Yeah. They can be really good. Like, you know, fucking Vox. But I think he's just not interesting is my issue. He's... Even Paimon is more interesting. He's... Is Paimon on this list? Paimon is not. That's fine. We'll just honorary Paimon in B. Vizzeroli's creep stalker. Terrible character. Awful human being. Or, oh. well, imp. Yeah. But the it way is. the character is portrayed is very, I want to say, realistic. Because people is. like this exist. It, yes, it, they it exist, is very realistic. And it's terrifying. I want to say, we're not rating this in terms of how good or bad they are in terms of morals. We're rating them on how good they are portrayed as characters. Of course, how much we like them as well. Where are we putting, honestly, just drop him there. So the ones at the very left are better or worse? Whoever's at the front of the tier is the best, and whoever's at the bottom is the worst of that tier. Okay, so then why is Cashbox so the front of D. Because there's a cherubs. I don't want to put him in front. I want to put him in front of the cherubs. Compromise. Compromise. The Com cherubs at least have character, okay? Oh, I think we can casually agree without speaking where that character's going. <laughs> no, what? What? <laughs> I think we, we don't need to really speak about this topic. We just, it's Blitz. What else do you want? It's Brandon? Blitz. It's Blitz so buxo. It's Blitz without the O. It's Brandon Rogers. It's fucking Brandon Rogers if he was a demon in hell. And what else do you need? <laughs> Love him with Stolas. The scene in the new episode, though, where he goes, I can do better. Like, that broke my heart. Yeah. Oh my I, I could be better for you, Stolas, please. He has everything he needs to be a part of Stolas in the palm of his hands. And he just, he wants Stolas. But he can't say it because he 
he's a dumbass. On the apology tour, I need them. Realistically, the amount of trauma he's gonna go through in Ghost Fuckers, I do not think that they're gonna make up in the next episode. It needs time to heal. He's a main it's character, just... but when he's the center of attention, it's really good. He shines. He it's shines great. a lot. Even when he's a side character, so like with Mark T's episode, that's how good Brandon Rogers is. Honestly, I think the Eminem's little camp thing, that seems to me more of a B-plot than like Blitz's whole trying to find his sister. Like that yeah. seems to be more interesting. Asmodeus. What is your opinion, Asmodeus? I would probably put him head of Beelzebub in S tier. I love Ozzy. Great character. Love the voice. But I don't think he has as much of a character yet as Fizz. I do want more out of Asmodeus. I don't know if I should fight you on whether or not Ozzy goes in front of B. Ozzy does have more screen time and we do yeah. I do really like his character. I think in terms of the like the whole context of the show, Ozzy has more of a character than B because of yes. how much we get to see his character yeah. in action. So I think we can safely agree that yeah. above B, B is still He's an S tier character. B is still my baby. I'm yeah, not we... gonna say cut that out. Oh god. But no, um, we've got the dad from the first episode. What the fuck is his name? No idea. He's just the dad from the first episode. He's an F. I'm sorry. At least Martha has a hey, character. She's... He's the airhead husband meant yeah. to fill and in some time. And he his poor wife. I forgot that that's what he was. Fucking asshole. He's definitely above Billy. Has to be above that. Billy. It has to be. I'm just saying this now. No one is gonna be <laughs> below Billy. Yeah. Billy is rock bottom. Billy is the standard for. F. There's no F tier, it's Billy tier. If I could just drag him all the way over here, I would. No, Millie's mom. I like Millie's mom. She's great. She does what she does. Her name is Lynn. Lynn, Lynn. and Joe. I prefer the mother over the father, personally. I like the character yeah, yeah. design. Uh, I like the line she has where festival ended with 14 separate funerals. Like, your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. Yeah, I'd probably slap her. <laughs> Effectively. On the talk of parents and dads especially, I find it funny how the whole like Bibsy verse is just split in half of like good dads or dads that are trying, not good, but trying. Yeah. And then they're just like parents. terrible, Millie's terrible dads. Like Blitz's dad sells him, Oxy's dad's a mafia boss, and Millie's mom and dad are farmers. Like Millie's not the good parents. And Luna's a doctor. So I saw a tweet on Twitter the other day. It cracked me up. It was like when Viv said that husband would be more female centric and Eleva would be more male centric what she really meant was Elva daddy issues has been has mommy, been issues. mommy issues we're on to moxie now a hot take i would have put moxie in s tier no he gets shit on he's the colin of the group right yeah i think what's it unhappy campers lost a little bit of respect for you but, but yeah same i, I think agree. this one's up to you and personally i would put him near behind s top of a okay uh, i don't that's, think he deserves fair. s that one episode did ruin him a bit he's, he's still a relief great I, I character will say the, the whole like luna calls moxie fat thing is is it's not funny and i don't see it my favorite moxie bit consistently is when is when he says something or does something really cool and then two seconds later just gets beat up or he just looks like a yeah. dumbass. My favorite one is with Chaz. He's like, ow. He tries to flirt with everyone and it fails. I wouldn't fall for that stuff, but I'll be at the room. It's Chaz. Chaz. The teacher from the first episode. Mrs. Mayberry? Mrs. Mayberry. I think she's just top D tier. She's, she's also she's mommy, so. Yeah. Millie. I love Millie and Moxie. I think they're a great couple. At least with Unhappy Campers, they added some realism to their relationship. It's not all fun and rainbows, you know? Yeah. But I think Millie isn't as fleshed out. As a singular established character, better than Moxie. But if we add Millie and Moxie together, definitely S plus, 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 plus. I think my biggest issue with Moxie is they keep giving him arcs where he and his boss come to an understanding and then they just rip all that development away right yes. after. If you had one word to describe Moxie, what would it be? Um... Simp. Simp or E kitten vibes. He is a bottom at heart. Bottom at heart. Oh, Mammon. Mammon. Okay, listen, another asshole villain character. But He's a really good villain. Very entertaining. Seven Deadly Sin. I think it's above all these characters, but not above Crimson. I like the scene where he goes full on like spider mode. I like the symbolism. Like it makes sense that his demonic mode is, is a spider because you know web of crime and like greed is just all crime. Oxy's dad. I think we can just effectively just slap these two together. I think Joe has to go behind 
this? This is Mayfairy, no? She just exists. The knockoff Big Wells. Lyle Lipton, that guy. Suicidal modern day super villain. Probably would just slap him in D tier. It reminds me of like a depressed Santa. Literally does. Oh god, Luna, where, do, Luna, Luna. where do we put Luna? Because I know why I would put Luna. Angsty teen, but not really a teen. She's mature when she needs to be. Especially She's mature with anger issues. She drinks in the morning as well. Looney goes behind blitz. I think if we put her anywhere lower, there'll be a public riot. My favourite scene with Luna is in the Veroska Mania episode, where they'll go, do you know how many freaks will drool all over you up there? And they all look at the screen and judge everyone. I love the seeing stars Luna and Octavia heart to heart. The scene that really cracked me up was the episode with Crimson. I really like the scene where they come back. Luna's just like, what the fuck, at the table. Luna has a lot of episodes where she exists. She also has a lot of episodes where she just doesn't exist. We got Glitz and Glam. I love Clown Bitch. Such a good song. It's I have a very repeat. effective song. Top of C. They're there to be Fizzy Rollies Royals and Replacement. Dollar for Dolly, you got my romance and love in his Copyright. Fit. Copyright. <laughs> the two kids. I'll just slap them here. They're literally just there. <laughs> Next character, the mother, who's more established. Um, listen, remember when I said that nothing's going below Billy? Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst fucking terrible. But he's a good, terrible boss character. He's in his own head. He's kind of a prick to his um, essentially employees, but like his voice. I'm sorry. His voice is grating. It hurts. Oh, Fizz? I love Fizz. Um, uh, uh, ahead of Luna. Ahead of Luna, yes. Perfect. I was gonna say that. Fizz are so fucking good. I it's don't have favorite characters because I love all of them, but like, I love Fizz. Fizz are such a good name. It has a ring to He was so sweet and cute in the latest episode. Like, you can tell he's he's healed, like, a little bit. He's, he's mature he's his and own person. He's his own man. Something else? Alex Brightman. Beetlejuice voice. Love yeah. it. His backstory is so sort of sad. What? Did it fuck up the moment if we made out right now. No. Honestly, if they made out, I wouldn't complain. I, I said this on Twitter the other day, but I do think that Fizz and Ozzy's relationship is probably not essentially open, but like they're open to each other having things with other people, but ultimately they come home to each other. Yeah. Because, you they're know, Ozzy is the king of lust. There we got Millie's sister. They're the short episode. Established them all. Sally Mae is a great character. I'd probably but just slap her here. The short, it was really cute. It gave Millie and her some sister talk time. But, I don't know, it was kind of boring. She he does have one of the best lines. Literally. It doesn't count if you don't find the body. It doesn't count indeed. It's not a crime if there's no crime to be seen if everyone's dead. Oh no, Stella. I hate Stella. She makes my boy yeah. Stolas cry. Listen, we might have a disagreement on this. Stella, terrible person. Although I wish they gave her some nuance and like some gray area instead of just being black and white. Yeah. But she is a great character for what she has to portray. Oh yeah. Like her voice acts very good. I'll probably just slap him right in front of me. Are you sure she goes in front of Crimson? Like, Mabon, focus episode. Crimson, focus episode. Stella's in episodes, but not focused. I want to know, from what we've seen, Stella probably views Octavia as more of a possession than a child. Octavia probably spends most of her time at Stella's. I yeah. want to see that. I want to see how they interact, because they haven't talked, which is kind of Yeah, weird. like, especially at the divorce table, when Stella's just there, Stella's brother's there, she's only after the money. Not even mentioning Octavia. Was I, that my... you, you silly minx? I, my my, my favourite line, I think, from Stella is, What the fuck was that, Stolas? <laughs> that line is so good. It's delivered so well. I love Stella's voice actor. Oh, she is purely, fucking good. Purely because she and Brandon have done so much content together. Have you seen Brandon's videos? They're so good. They are fantastic. He's a very convincing Karen as well. He's a very convincing everything. He doesn't mind cross-dressing either. What a guy. I want to see Blitz and Drag now. We have seen Blitz and Drag in the Cheros episode. Right, was a right. Woman. Did you notice that Barbie Wire has him as Moody and Crystal, so therefore yes. she has a human form. Does that yeah. mean we'll feel that, That's what I was about form? to say. I'm really excited, but also kind of scared. No hate to Brandon, but I'm not sure if, like, I'm just animating Brandon would be the go for it. I like the ones where they dialyze, like, where he has piercings and, like, the little white streak through black hair. Stolas's makes sense. Luna's makes sense. Blitzos has to make sense. Just don't clone Brandon Rogers, obviously. We've already seen Brandon Rachers yeah, in like, Seeing Stars. It should somewhat resemble him. Make him look like a bean. 
Yeah. You know what would be so funny yeah. if they made him bald? They should. Brandon has done Blitz human form cosplay before. I like the white streaks. I want them to do that. Striker, I like him in his debut episode, but he's been heavily nerfed. He's a good character. Great design. Um, he's some sort of like shark imp hybrid. I'd probably just slap him at the top of C tier. If he wasn't nerfed so hard, he would probably be a B. Oh, I forgot this character's name now. Wally Wackford. I don't like him. I, I fit McInnes comfortably and like, slap him like... Yeah. Inconvenient torches, get ya! Inconvenient torches! I like how consistently for every scam or every just sort of sketchy thing in hell, he just shows up for the occasion. Oh yeah, he's just there to make a quick penny. I do kind of find it funny that like, because of his handing Verasica a drink, that kind of kicked off a Verasica Wally ship, which oh. is weird because Verasica's, I don't see it. Verasica's a sucky boy. I don't think she'll be tailored down to a singular person. I think even though she was dating Blitz as of a job she would be sleeping with other people. I really like Verasica and Barbie, but also Verasica and Velvet. It kind of makes sense, don't oh, you think? Oh, it kind of does, but it's... Fanfix can yeah. make it work, honestly. Fanfiction's Vortex. For me, Vortex established. That is episode. He also has the same voice actor as Asmodeus. I would just slap him probably somewhere in B tier, but I don't know where. Where would you put him? He's a great character, level-headed. He's like B's sort of chill side. He levels her out. I like that. He's a great friend to Luna. He, he's on understanding, but I don't think he goes in front of Stella. I might put Stella one in front of Mammon. I think mm. one to one of your personal favorites. For Oscar Mayday. One of my personal favorites. One of your personal favorites, yes. I never, where'd you get that idea from? You've told me numerous times. I'll be like, let's All talk right. about Hell of a Boss. So you'll be like, oh, For Oscar Mayday. What a woman. <laughs> okay, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I do. I, I've got I a good memory. What, what's, fuck, I can't think. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Everyone in the comments on Pear's video, ask a Hell of a Boss question, and if she doesn't mention Roscoe and Rayday at least once. She's doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. So I'm, yeah. if I if I don't prove you right, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Straight away to you. And she's gonna be an apology tool. Oh, also, fuck. She's voiced by Christina V. I yes. love Christina V. And her human form is very good as well. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, Stolas, right here. There we are. What a guy. Absolutely. The glorious light of Stolas is on us right now. Terrible at communicating, but you gotta yeah. love him. I cry every time he cries. Or gets upset. Oh, Look oh, My yes. Way is such a fucking good song. Every dude. song with Bryce Pinkham is amazing. My favourite one is either Look My Way or the one in Lululand. You Will Be Okay? Yeah, every song that has Stolas in it, even if it's not singing, it's good. <laughs> it's just because uh, Stolas is there, he exists. Great dad, power bottom, it's my boy. It's him, it's him. It's literally him. I, I feel like in both of these shows, there's always that one character. Where if there was a spin-off show just with that character and yeah, their life, you him. would watch it. And that would be Stolas. It would be Stolas or Fizz for me. For has been for me, that character is Alistair. For me, it would be more heaven related, Adam and Luke. I want an Emma Loot, enemies to lovers. I want to see the archangels, like yes. Michael and all that. Uh, we're on Octavia. You Listen, go first to this, because this is your like, spirit character. I don't, I love Octavia. She's amazing. My girl. I think she's definitely an ST character. She is kind of like Luna. She's like Luna, but like younger. Oh, she's the same age as Luna. No, she's not. not she's 17. When well, she's 17, Luna's at the time is 17, obviously, progression. Canonically, right now, she's still 17. Because she's still 22 as the season goes on. And then at Aussies, they say she's already 17, as in Octavia. So she's 17, Luna's 22. I thought she was 17 and then she's aged up. Nope, hasn't aged up yet. She's still a minor. She'll be here. There's a definite distance between, like, the this line of characters. Yeah, like, that, that has to be, like, really long. Just, like, move them. I think in terms of effectiveness, she's probably below me. In terms of character, and how she's we above. Really based on our opinions at the end of the day. But all the characters, do we... I don't think we really move anyone around, really. You're gonna hate me, but I yeah. think we should move Cletus above Jerry. Characters are annoying. Cletus is the least annoying of them. He's bearable. By a microgram, better than this little twat. I think the reason is because he doesn't have an ego. I'm tempted to put Stella at the head of B tier. Because okay. of the voice acting, I prefer. It's kind of funny that, like, fucking Richard Horvitz also voices the dad. I don't hate but I dislike Cletus. But in terms of established character, I feel like he might be above Billy. Better than Billy. I can agree with that. Yes. Like, I think Billy is you get, you give the, the worst you give character. Him, you give him the worst cherub. Yeah. A little bit of slack. I think that's it. I think we've all sorted it. So uh, have you enjoyed yourself, Pear? I have. I just hope uh, the audio fucking works. Have you got anything to say to the viewers at home, our lovely subscribers? Thank you for watching uh, on either of our channels. And okay. uh, I hope you take care. 
drink some water. Don't forget to get a decent sleep as well as you can get. This was really stupid and really, uh, it was just so random. We just did I'm very it fun. Don't forget fun. Make sure you go to the description and go check out Donkey's channel and his video. Don't forget uh, to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe don't to Pear. Like, don't forget I don't to like, subscribe. I don't like asking for subscribe. No, they gotta subscribe. We just, you know, we talked about Stolas for 20 minutes. Final words, Stolas is great.